So, you know, I had like a whole cold open planned for this video. Um, that would reference, you know, the whole me not uh, uploading for like two years uh, and stuff. But now I just realized I uploaded the, 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 the Nation States experience video. And now because of that split second decision that I just randomly decided to record one day, I can't do the cold open. So, um... Here's my copy of Celeste for the Nintendo Switch. Doesn't this make up for- isn't that- isn't this cool, guys? Doesn't this make up for, like, two years of no uploads? Thanks. time of year and what better way to celebrate than actually launching this sh show that I've been meaning to do for over a year now that's right ladies gentlemen and every gender identity in between we're kicking off this show with a Halloween special we haven't released any other episodes and we're already doing a special because that's a Sabbath world move now you see I don't actually have any budget for this video I don't have anything spooky but um here's my here's my cat that my my golden Chinese cat that you can barely see, um, so that they they can protect from like the ghouls and stuff, right? So that's there, and here's here's my demogorgon. Um, you can also barely see, uh, and this this will this will go here, and that'll do nicely. By the way, you'll be seeing my TV in my hand a lot. That's kind of the gimmick here, you'll get it as we go along. Before anyone complains about either the fact that this isn't Halloween-y enough, or it's too fucking dark, I made the decision to create this video two days before Halloween. There is two pounds in my bank account. I don't even have a fucking lamp to improve the lighting or anything slightly. Blame the government. But that's enough messing around. What are we going to do this fine Halloween night? Well, we have to watch creepy shit, of course, because it's Halloween night. And as a weeb, and I already know that I denounced the fact that I was a weeb in the previous video, but here it is, the coming out. I prefer the term otaku, thank you very much. Uh, I can only watch the animes, and that's what, because that's what this show is all about. That's right, and in the otaku world, when you're talking horror, there's probably one man who comes to mind. Junji motherfucking Ito. Creator of, from memory, such greats as, this is my hole, it was made for me, and the really spooky drawings that haunt my nightmares. And luckily for us, some of this legendary mangaka's work was adapted into anime last year with the Junji Ito collection, which unfortunately, everyone thought was shit. The stench of mediocrity that seeps from every forgettable frame of the Junji Ito collection. That first episode! Fucking sucked! Poorly replicated in the anime. It's like they didn't even try. A lazy texture overlay, which takes about five seconds if you know what you're doing in Photoshop. Well, besides the me who gave it a 7 out of 10 on my anime list. Am I ruining my credibility as an anime reviewer yet? But this seems like the perfect thing to cover on this show. Slightly shit, and also creepy. Except we're not going to do that, because I don't have enough time to cover a 12 episode anime in 2 days, nor do I know the direction I should take a video like that. Maybe it's next year's Halloween special when I'm better at this whole video making thing. Do you all want an endgame length video on the Junji Ito collection? Maybe. Maybe. Anyway, here's what we're going to watch instead. Two specials by the same people who made the Junji Ito collection, based around one of Junji Ito's most famous characters, Tomi. Like I am not kidding. Tomi is almost like the Japanese version of Jason or something. They literally made nine live action films about her. They even did a fucking final chapter that wasn't actually a final chapter. Because money. So, turn the lights down, pull around the, the fire, grab your Halloween candy, grab a golden Chinese cat for protection against the dark hearts, and together, let's watch some Tomi.
友人の富江が死んだ I get the feeling this isn't gonna last very long but you know what while it lasts God rest her soul すみません遅れて<笑>正直言って冗談にしては気分が悪い冗談って何ですの先生君は富江の双子の姉妹か私は一人っ子だわ。ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、Don't classes on like the first day have like a let's all get to know each other session? And especially considering. <coughs> I feel like he'd know that. Whatever, this is a fucking stupid question. This is highly legal. Oi! Takagi Sensei got a new i n s t a l l i o n 入院どうして宿直室でわけのわからないことを大声で叫んでいるのを他の先生が見つけたって。So, uh, the teacher ended up on the psych ward because she hugged him. Alright, we better add this to the versus battles wiki. Tomi can cause people to go insane from just hugs. I guess Junji Ito is a softie after all and it shines through. FYI, I did check and Tomi actually has a fucking versus battles wiki page. Oh my god. 頭が混乱する。Wow, it's almost like people don't just come back to life regardless of whether they're cut into pieces. Reiko! Just wait, Reiko! Hey, Yamamoto-kun, what's wrong with you? I'm trying to get rid of you. Why do you think so? I was wrong with you, but I was wrong with you. Wow, I really cannot think of a single reason why he may do that. I... This is so baffling. There must be something wrong with him. Ah, of course, it's a classic. They did it, so she's haunting them, cliche. I should have seen it coming. You know, honestly, this is pretty tame for a Junji Ito story. I don't understand why Tomi is so popular. No way is there enough material here for nine fucking sequels. All we've seen so far is hugging powers. Anyways, looks like we're heading into a flashback. That is highly fucking illegal. No, I'm not gonna say. I'm not, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say the funny for the third time in a row. That. But this. That I. I. No. Wait! Tomie! She was in the air for like a good eight seconds. You're telling me not one of these school kids could have tried to catch her? You'll just let someone die. You're an accomplice to murder now. You just let a totally normal girl die. Looking forward to 10 plus years? 10 plus years. Can't finish high school in prison. Can't finish high school. No one to employ you. Can't get a job. Speaking from experience, I mean, wait, what? So, yo, just you know, I'm not a say, 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 This is highly illegal and I'm not okay with it. What the fuck? Oh my god, so that's the turn this is taking. The whole class is in on it. That's. that's pretty fucked. What the fuck? I. genuinely, the more I think about this, the more fucked I think it is and the more it disgusts me. God damn, Junji Ito. However, on the flip side of that, I would like to point out that he did not push her. She tried to walk around him and stepped on a bad piece of ground, I guess. 
All he did was grab her hand, which, considering he grabbed it hard enough to hurt her, doesn't exactly make much sense that she fell, does it? That 5 out of 10 average on Mal is making sense now, huh? Honestly, I'm not sure who I'm supposed to direct my criticisms toward. Is this just a shitty adaptation, or is Junji Ito's work not as great as it's hyped up to be? I think for my own safety, I'm just gonna blame Studio Dean. Fuck you, Studio Dean, how dare you ruin this work! Another thing, how exactly do Yamamoto and the teacher get down from that cliffside in like 5 seconds? Why is there so much bad in this scene that is supposed to be the reveal? Fucking Studio Dean. Oi, Danshi. Today, I know where this is going. Don't you do it. Don't you fucking do it. I know where this is going. Don't do, don't do it, please. No, no, that's not okay. No. Wow, way to go. That's that's not what I want to see before dying. Being piled on by a bunch of fucking pale high school students in nothing but tighty whities holding knives. Ooh, you hate to see it. No wonder she's so mad. I can't show the rest, but please be assured, it's fucking disgusting. They make comments about the size of her intestines and what she had for lunch. And then the teacher just acts like it was a regular lesson and is like, great work! Honestly, like, having to go through the scene slowly for the sake of writing a script really made me want to vomit. That doesn't happen that often, let me tell you. Fucking hell. Alright kids, here's your homework. Go dump a piece of the body somewhere no one will ever find it. That's what I get paid for. This will be on the test. This guy is so stupid. Yes, let's trust the high school children to dump body parts. Like, what the fuck? Clearly this doesn't work out well, as we know from earlier. This is so fucked, and yet at the same time, I just want to laugh, and I'm not exactly having difficulty coming up with jokes. Is that the point? Is this actually supposed to be comedy? I think this might actually be why people hate this adaptation. We've cracked the code, boys. Also, can we talk about the fact that he took the fucking time to gift wrap all these body parts? So thoughtful. What? Yamamoto? Yeah. Ah, so that's what this is turning into. It's a we must keep the secret cliche. Still fucked. Hey, how about when there's people right there, you know you're supposed to be hiding from, don't yell? What the fuck? That's so fucking stupid. This girl is dumber than any horror movie protagonist I've ever seen. What a fucking great idea. Alright, it's your, it's your time to shine. Cat protect me. This, this, out of this, not in this house. Not in this house. No. Man, what a cliffhanger. I wonder what she's going to do to those kids. It may be a rough adaptation, but I'm pretty invested now. I need to know how this ends. I'm so excited. Finally, the spooky shit. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, that's right. It's a time skip. No, no, seriously, these aren't separate stories. They reference the last one, but it's just two years later. That's fine, no, I don't need to know how this last story ended. I didn't need those eight minutes of my life to come to some kind of fruition. This is totally fine. You want to know what pisses me off the most? So I went and looked at the manga. There is only three more pages of this chapter, and it actually serves as an ending to this part of the story. Are you fucking kidding me, Studio Dean? You couldn't be bothered to adapt three pages? Three more fucking pages? Six pages if you want to properly link it to this episode? It's almost like all the hate for the Junji Ito collection in this adaptation is completely warranted. Tomi's appearance doesn't even play out the same in the manga, when it does happen. 
There's no bloody eye. I'm not the type to get hung up on manga and anime differences, but when you're choosing not to adapt three pages to end the story you're telling, that's not okay. Fuck you, Studio Dean. But whatever, they have a chance to redeem themselves this episode. I legitimately can't tell what that food is. Fries, maybe? Apple slices? But that's like a lot of apple slices. And they seem to be too big to be fries. Why am I making a big deal out of this? Am I just hungry? Yes. ありがとう。でも Oh come on lady, how are you gonna do him like that? He's offering you his kidney and you're gonna friend zone him? Excuse me, but I refuse to believe there was that many apple slices. I will die on this hill, believe me. Fight me, Studio Dean. I will literally take on the entire offices of Studio Dean with my zero plus years of fighting experience. <laughs> well, you know, she's not wrong. Yeah, you know, gotta admit, Tomi is pretty aesthetically pleasing. Junji Ito sure knows how to design cute girls when he wants to. He also knows how to make them haunt my nightmares. Thanks for that, man. Really appreciate it. I don't already have enough nightmares about my own personal demons as it is. Haha. <laughs> that wasn't a joke, please. I want the nightmares to stop. That is not your name! Run! Get out! No! Go away! Listen, lady, this is not a girl you want to mess with. I would recommend heeding those warnings. Just whatever you do, no matter what, don't let her hug you. I'm honestly like really curious, has someone designed some kind of document on how to like, hypothetically, if Junji Ito's monsters were real, how to overcome them? I don't want to turn this into discussing that because I'm all about the funny ha-has, but genuinely, that stuff interests me. I want to know that the women who appear in my nightmares have a weakness. Not a very exploitable weakness, but like, if there's still a chance, that genuinely would make these monsters more interesting to me. Kinda like the journals from Gravity Falls, you know? But with Junji motherfucking Ito, now that's the good shit. Now that I'm thinking about it, I want to know that the women who appear in my nightmares is not grey out of context, is it? Oof. Yeah, well I wouldn't go out with someone whose fucking eyes bleed, or who can do this, you crazy bitch. I'm not gonna lie, I know I just yelled at a fictional character. And it's not an outlawed word like the n-word or something. But part of me feels genuinely bad that I said bitch. But that's comedy, right? I'm sorry. Maybe, maybe I won't do that that often. Or again. I'm seriously sorry. What the hell is with the language she uses in this scene? Breakup? She literally just friendzoned him. Tommy, it's okay. They're just friends. She doesn't even want his kidney, Tommy. <laughs> Uh, What? What the fuck is that plushie made of? What kind of throwing strength did this sick girl have in order to crack a mirror with a plushie? What the fuck? This doesn't make any sense. When she gets out of the hospital, she better take up shot put. That's an Olympic champion in the making, my god. Quite worried I was gonna knock it off a sim to be honest. <laughs> so it doesn't work! No, please, tell me. It's it, it's okay, she didn't realize she had super strength. D don't do anything crazy now. You don't need to kill her. She doesn't have a kidney, she's not got long left anyway. Mio-san, 
この患者さんは絶対安静なんです。Nurse for the win! My sister's a nurse, you know. She hasn't spoken to me in months. ってあの元教師かそうです。今朝未明に平和を乗り越えたようです。たちの悪い感じが逃げ出したものだ。Oh, hey, Mr. Crazy's back. See, I told you it linked the other one. And you want to know something? This plot line goes nowhere! Maybe it comes into play later in the Tomy story, but let's be honest, they're never gonna make more of these. Tonari m a c h de Ninem Mai Okita, Josh Kose, Barabara Jigen, the Higai Shan of Tani. Hani or Mada Scamate Nayo Daga, or a Takagiga Hanin Janaga to Motrenda. Oh, buddy, if I could tell you how simultaneously right and terribly wrong you are, oh man. Oh, my Yuki no Tokoro eat Tanda. ええ、言ったわよ。とってもいい人ね。すっかり話が弾んじゃった。もう、like、she hit the fucking mirror <笑>。彼女、病院の先生とできちゃったんだって。その先生の話する時の彼女のめったら生き生きしちゃって。幸せいっぱいって感じ。レイコ。なんでそんな嘘をつく。お前の話は嘘ばかりだな。listen man。like I said earlier。this is not a girl you wanna make mad。You're on thin fucking ice. Leko! Leko? Dare no koto? What I son and a major naiva you? No, my mozo. Bokua, ton de monai on no skinny not de simatano de onaika. You cannot comprehend how true that is. This girl even has a versus battles wiki page. So she so much old over. Nine my new okita chicken ni tweet and okiji or omo yoko stabini. Osorashi made ni kusho kashte sima. This is honestly the scariest picture of Tomi we've seen so far. I don't know why. You know, we've had her dying, her eye bleeding, and this is the scariest to me. Answer me, Studio Dean. Why is this so creepy to me? It's like she's staring into my soul. I don't like that smile. That's. that's a not real smile. That's exactly what you should do. Now, how much do you want to bet that he's not gonna do it? <laughs> お前<笑>びっくりしたさっきのは冗談よちょっと困らせようと思っただけ私が欲しいのは北山くんだけ愛してる Run run get get out get out this is, this is the part where you leave ねえ北山くん何か話してよ黙ってないで北山くん Oh, oh, okay. I told you it was the hugs. No one listened to me. This is canon now. <laughs> oh, 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 that's. That's fucking brutal. You know, no wonder this girl is so fucking pissed and won't die. All she does is get killed. This is like the most tragic horror character. Imagine Friday the 13th, but it's just Jason getting killed over and over. This is the anti horror. Probably can't show the next part because of the amount of blood. But basically, he's crazy now, like the last guy who got hugged. Guy, what do this guy? Gentle this. Demo coon this tane. Take your shagar over it. And guess whose kidney she got? Mio san. Mata zen zen tabe de nai janai this guy. Dame this yo tabe nakia. Date onakaga hit the nine da mono. So na has nai de show. だって本当なんですものほら見て本当どうしたのかしら God damn Ito that's fucking gross What is she gonna do? Give birth to Tomi? And uh That's exactly what happened Just right out of the stomach Pops right out Tomi's head I'm worried about showing this again but Here it is Very very censored Well that's another one to add to the nightmare bank so, where is Tommy now? I don't know, because they're never gonna make another one of these specials because of how shit adaptations they are. If I was a big YouTuber, this is where I'd go, hey, you can read this manga on today's sponsor. Fucking, I don't know, Manga Rock. Oh, wait, no, that's a piracy site. Oh, shit. Um, I guess you can buy it. I certainly kind of want to now. But I believe they all lived happily ever after, and Tommy is still out there, hugging men and making them crazy. Maybe sometimes women. Maybe sometimes non-binary people. 
Magic powers don't discriminate. But yeah, that's it. Junji Ito, you're a madman. Wait, was Junji Ito hooked by Tomi? Is that the secret? Oh, fuck! Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for making it to the end. I know this has been a long time coming. I've put so much work into this video, I've never worked this hard on anything in my life, and I really hope it shows. Now that we've got the show off the ground, we hopefully won't have another two year hiatus. I'm going to aim for at least one video per month, maybe two, but obviously I need to spread the workload because this was a lot in two days. Oh, and there will be a budget for the next video, rest assured. Maybe only about £10, but a budget nonetheless. Sincerely hope that you have, or have had, a wonderful Halloween. My plans kind of went out the window because of this video, but I think it was worth it. I literally spent the whole day editing. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go buy some more candy, because that's all I want right now. <laughs> What? Are, are they here? Is it the ghouls? Oh. <laughs> I just had to pull down the ladder.